Hi, I'm Philippe Nolan with Devour TV, and this is Top 50 Dishes New York City. Today we're at Artisanal, where cheese takes center stage. So let's go see what Chef Terrence Brennan has put on the plate for us today. Come on. Hi, I'm Terrence Brennan from Artisanal Frumagery and Bistro. And this is one of the 50 best dishes. It's our cheese platter. And if Philip doesn't like this, I don't know what he likes. Le plat de fromage. Well, I'm gonna do what you tell me to do. <laughs> Good answer. Because you know, you know what's going on. <laughs> so a few pointers about composing a cheese plate, cheese board, is you want to think about a few things. Different types of milk, goat, sheep, cow is the majority of all cheese. I mean, you have your yak, you have your buffalo milk, but basically right. the majority of the world's cheeses for cheese platters are made from those three types of milk. So okay. I like to, to mix up the milks, make sure I have a sheep, goat, and cow. Uh, then you think about texture. Yep. You think about uh, strength of the cheeses. You want to have some milder ones and then build up to a strong blue cheese. Blue cheese at the end. You're also going to set the board up left to right, left being your, your, your starter. Your starter cheeses. Your most mild and then move to the right. If you have a round plate, we would start at 12 o'clock and go clockwise. So it's easy for the guest or your your guest to figure out you know which which route to go. So we're gonna start our cheese plate with the Vermont Mountain Chef, and as you would guess, it's from Vermont. It's right. a cheese melt cheese, which I'm really into these days. I, I I tend to always go for the big powerful cheeses like the Apoises and the blue cheese, which we'll get to later. But for, I'm snacking a lot on cheese. I'm, I'm kind of eating like the French do, smaller meals, smaller amounts, and keeping the protein going, therefore gotcha. metabolism, and right. et cetera, et cetera. Cheese is good for your eat, metabolism. Eat cheese, lose weight. There you go. Right. Next is one of my favorite goat cheeses in the world. It's Montenegro. It's a Spanish aged goat cheese, about three months. It has an ash on it. It's kind of firm. Very, very tasty. Fantastic. Next, we'll go to uh, uh, Comte Day, an mm -hmm. 18 month old Comte Day. They can be aged up to over two years or nine months, but an 18 to 24 month Comte Day, it's, it's very nutty and, and, and rich. And and creamy, it's delicious. Okay, then we have this real runny cheese. I always love runny, gooey cheeses, you know. It's, it's almost like a fondue. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Now, we age this here, uh, and a poise can be kind of semi soft, mm -hmm. uh, but we age it a little further. We keep spritzing it with the Marc de Bourgogne, and, and we keep aging it and turning it so it gets nice and creamy, like this cheese here. This is the way I like to eat it. Then, for our blue cheese, I have a Spanish Valdeon, which is oh. wrapped in sycamore leaves. I love this cheese because it's very, it's a very powerful blue cheese. It looks very artisanal, and the sycamore adds a little bit more complexity. To sure, it. it adds a little texture too. Yeah. All right. So, Mountain Shepherd. Mountain Shepherd from Vermont. From the great not, state of Vermont. Not that sure, far. A lot of artisanal American artisanal cheeses are coming from there. Coming from. Taste buds activated, Captain. Okay. <laughs> it started off a little bit chalky, and then it started getting pasty, as you said. And that nuttiness is really coming through. It's oh man. Now, here we go with the Montenegro. Okay, so this is our aged goat cheese from Spain. It's intense. Mm, here we go. Mm. That texture. It's so creamy. We haven't tasted the conte yet. Cow's milk cheese. I'm smelling the cheese just like you showed me. It plus, correct me if I'm wrong, this is a, this is a cheese from Burgundy, it right? Is, absolutely. Uh, we're gonna need a little vehicle to get this to our mouth. Yeah, that's so pretty. The vehicle is because it's so runny. It's looking runny and gooey. Right. It's coming off! Ah! All right. So let's try the Valdeon. So now this is the blue cheese. Yeah, this is going to be very strong. So this blueness is actually mold. Yes. It's really it. tasty mold. Yeah. yeah. The strong, really strong blue cheese as opposed to like a still that's a lot creamier and milder. This is bringing it on in flavor. One of the things I want to point out is all of these, all of these cheeses from 
you know, our wonderful Vermont cheese through this incredible cheese of Burgundy. They are all at the peak of perfection. You guys are the cheese kings in New York because you really take pride in, in serving the cheeses right at that point. You said this is like almost teetering yes. on the edge, yes. but you get them to the table when they're right on. Artisanal, top 50 New York City cheese, you heard it from the man, is good for your health. It, you'll lose weight if you eat more cheese. Thanks, Terrence. Thank Cheers, man. Cheers. All right.